hammer, or I have my thumb right there. And even if you hit yourself, that wood wasn't that bad. But that thing will dang near take your thumbnail off if you hit it. And, and I learned to do things differently. Keep my fingers and thumbs away from that handle of that thing. But, uh, anyway. Can't break it and pull any kind of nail that you can pull. It'll, um, Oh, and the other thing I had to learn not to do, I used to, when I was building cabinets, I used to tap things with the bottom of my wooden hammer handle. You couldn't do it with that because it has two big old rivets that's been beat on for a hundred years, and they will beat the, they will ruin your cabinet face frames in a second. But I got used to it because I like it is the most balanced, and it's not too heavy, but it's just heavy enough you could drive a 16-penny nail when I was young, and if I wanted to. Work that hard, I could drive a 16 penny nail in three hits, four for sure. I had a buddy that was just really, real strong. He was somebody I work with at GD. He came over to help me, and one day do some stuff. He could, he would, uh, he would tap that nail and hit it once, and it would 16 penny nail all the way in. Uh, and so I had to keep trying it, and I got I could get them, I think, about halfway. I don't remember. Of course, if you miss, you knock the, you ruin whatever it is you were <laughs> trying to drive a nail into. You put a divot in it a half inch deep, you know, almost. Okay, so let's get back to work. I'm not sure. This way, no, this way. Yeah, this way. Okay. And I'm using this little baby hammer because that's all I need for this. I don't want to hit too hard, you know. Now I got that out, I want to use it just because I like it. This fits in a smaller space, too. It's a, the handle's short, though. A little, a little wonky for... Right here, this is... I've got my gloves on. Oh, that's not real sharp, but I could use a longer handle right now. I've got another, well, that's kind of heavy. Got a bigger, a regular size ball peen hammer. This one is just so well balanced. I've never seen a hammer so well balanced as this. And, you know, I used to break my, I used use my hammer so much back when I was working in the cabinet shop and stuff. And sometimes we did some remodel work. I'd break those wooden handles and have to, and I didn't want to go buy a whole new hammer. I'd, you know, replace the handles and stuff. Never had to do that with this one. I'm, this thing is, I guess it's a hundred years old, more. Yeah, that's actually a little, <laughs> little easier. I'm not leaning so far, and I'm not having to work at hitting it harder. I'm just tapping now, because the weight of the hammer does it now. I am hitting that, though. So I guess it's time to start on this side, I guess. Having to put, get up against it now to keep it from moving. I didn't realize it was moving so much, though. That was a spot that seemed resistant. I don't know if the glue was just stuck real good or if there was something there. I know when I get around here, i got to watch out for that. I guess mostly it was the felt getting wadded up. Yeah, I've got to go way up high now. Kind of hit it, hit it up on an angle to... Keep it going straight. Oop, there's it right there. May have to try using that other one now. Doesn't want to. You need, you know, you need it in the center so it goes. Doesn't uh, go like that. That when you hit it. Let's see. Oh, now that I got past that edge, I think it's. 
kind of riding a little bit. Well, that's probably just a looser spot. I think I'll go around this side again. Let's see till I get there. I was banging into that, and I was kind of worried about that. Take it off. I'm going sideways now, so. There is one side, there is a wedge on this, I just can't see it. One side wants it to go away, and one side wants it to go towards your piece, you know. I want to get as close of a trim as I can get. I'm hitting something or what? No, it's just some, some places aren't all that glued all that good, and some places are really glued. Yeah, then that one little spot, and then it just really lets loose. Can't tell how deep I am. I don't want to be cutting the, the vent. Can't see it. So I'm going to come from this side because I can tell where I am with the vent better. I was trying to kind of stay out of the way of the picture, but I gotta be where I can work. There we go. Yeah, this hammer, I guess I'm so used to it, I can look at the end of this and still hit the front end of this and still hit the back end of that. Uh, I guess I know just exactly how long that handle is in my, in my, they call it muscle memory. But it's your brain that has the memory, not your muscles. I don't know why they say that. It's funny, doctors, you know, and, and scientists, they know, they know so much scientific info and, uh, then they come up with silly things like that uh, a lot, you know. I mean, people like me, we sh we all that's what we all were silly, you know. We always come up with silly things. But, <laughs> but uh, I always do like to call tools by the right names and stuff. Or at least I did when I got to remember everything. Uh, I want to clean that up so that the glue will stick to it. Get this out of the way because I want to clean all this up. I guess uh, putty knives. Where's the other putty knife? There it is. I'm gonna put them over by the hammer. That knife I thought would be so good it wasn't any use at all. Okay. First I'm gonna clean I was fixing to get say I'll get out the new parts, but not yet because I gotta clean the surface better clean up the 
I hate to drag that big old vacuum out, but it may be what I need to do for the residue that came off. I need to... I guess I can use... You know what? I bought me those... I bought me some face shields, and I was like thinking, I don't want to get stuff all up on my face grinding, because I could get a wire wheel. I thought about getting my belt sander, but I, I think that would just take more... Actually, a wire wheel, you can make sure you can see what you're doing and you can only hit the parts you want to hit. I think the wire wheel would be good for that. Get the wire wheel. And I guess I'll have to get my Makita drill out. I don't really want to mess up a belt on that anyway. I don't. It might not work that good because that felt is... I don't know that it would work that good. But I'd have to hold it, you know, just use the edge of the belt. It would be a lot of... Kind of it end up as tired as I am now, it'd end up being hard work for me. <laughs> Let me get something out and see what it is I think I really want to use. I'll just leave everything as it is. Oh crap. That stuff's all covered up by stuff I've moved out. Let's see. I don't think I can get to it without moving all this junk here. Nope. Uh. Ow! Can I get to one of those grinders? I don't want to break this little door, though. Ah! Can you hear me now? Okay, um, what else do I have available? I mean, I can move all that, but it's a lot of moving. Let's see. Oh, I might have a wire wheel right here. Yeah, I've got a small one, and I don't necessarily need a big one. I've got some a grinding... I use them in the drill because I don't have a... I got that air, good air compressor and I've got an air impact now, a half inch air impact for the car, you know, kind of stuff. But I have. I want to get me some Dotco motors, like right angle motor and a straight motor. They call them die grinders a lot, usually. We called them Dotco motors cause, when we worked at GD because that was the brand that we had. But the drill is still in there. Well, I can go get the uh, 18 inch, 18 volt drill. It's in my room. I'll try it first. Uh, that stuff may not be that hard to get off of there. And this is probably a good size of a brush wire wheel to use. Yeah. You don't really want the big one, wider one anyway, I don't think. So, uh, going in there, I'm, sometimes when I go all the way, sometimes I'll go in there today, I lose my... Bluetooth connection, and sometimes this they'll go on when I come back, so I don't know. But uh, I'll have to remember to check that. I'm not going to take this whole thing off, bag off, if I don't have to. So, uh, I don't know if I want to leave that. I think I'll take it back off until I, I'm afraid I'll just make it worse, break it up, you know. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go get that, that drill. The battery's already out here. Oh, I'm working. I saw, uh, I'm putting a new felt on the door now. Getting that felt, oh, you know, a hammer and a putty knife, getting that felt off of there. It was making noise to me. <laughs> it was, I could hear it. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I... No, I didn't lose connection. Good. Maybe it depends on how long you're gone. You're off away. Or unless it's actually somehow penetrating. I'm going all the way to the other end of the house. Three bedroom... Well, thousand, about a thousand square foot three bedroom house. I'm going all the way to the other end. Not a big house, but... Bluetooth... Well, when you're in the living room, 
with something Bluetooth, and if you go to Mom's room, usually it quits once you get it go through her door, get down the hall and go through her door. So I'm surprised. Let's see if this will work. It doesn't spin very fast. It does spin faster than it ever has with this 20 volt, 20 volt battery on it. I'll put the big, the big boy on it. One of the five amp hour batteries. See, I got the adapter. Okay, gloves. I'm gonna get them gloves on so that I don't get stuck by them bristles when I tight, tighten that thing in there. This one, I can't believe. I, I always thought it was heavy, but uh, you know, the first time I saw one of these, but I got used to it. Other way. Whoop. Other way. Okay, let's put it up in there. I don't want it that far. Okay, let's see if this will work. Harder control, but it's taking it off better. When, as of, instead of going like that. I'll go around the top side first before I wear. Uh, yeah, I think most, you know, the glue does. I don't think it all. It, that came off just on its own, but I don't think it all has to come off. I, uh, but the felt doesn't. You don't want that there. The glue wouldn't stick good. Wouldn't stick good to that. The felt would just pull off. Blue's pretty rubbery. Just figured out I can just let it lay down there and don't don't fight it so much. A lot of felt right in there. What's it in? Yeah, it's in drill and it's on the highest. Oh, that starts to hurt too, though. It's not completely wearing out my wire wheel. It really works better like this.
right hand, my right hand's starting to ache too much to go the other way. But I can't control it as good like this. Hard work. Need my light again. I forgot to get that face shield. Now I've got a mouth full of it. I couldn't have seen with that anyway. It's not you can't see through it good. I'm really disappointed in it. I haven't even used it yet, but just looking at it, you know. want to be cutting out. I was wondering y'all been riding on the handle yeah it's not hurting it felt like something was moving it's all right I've got earplugs. Where are they? Okay. But this is working. It's alright. That, boy, that, that 20 volt just makes a world of difference. I mean, that thing barely used to spin uh, fast enough to drill a hole in steel. Couldn't hardly do it. Even when the batteries were good. Of course, they were going bad for quite a few years, and I still kept using them until they quit working. Until they quit start charging. I'm glad I got the 20-volt batteries, and, and I'm very glad I got that. The bigger ones, they don't just last longer. They have more power, you know, output power. I haven't run any of them all the way down yet. <coughs> I should label these so that, like, with numbers, so I'll know. Maybe be able to tell which one is the last, you know, the one that I use less, and which one to put on the charger first. Only got the one charger. That's better on the wheel. That squealing was killing me. I couldn't get it quick, no matter how I held it. 